Hello, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Update. Thanks for joining us. On Wednesday, more than 45 employers attended an annual event held by the Cayman Islands Further Education Center. We hear the details of what it was for in this report. The men and women of various private and public sector businesses gathered in the school's library on Wednesday morning. They were invited to provide the school careers officials with feedback on how to make the annual internship program better and tell them what's working well. I think it's important. I think especially going forward with young people going out into the job market, getting the experience, things that we can talk about that will help them as they move forward. And I think we should just continue and get as much employers involved in this process as possible. Okay, it has helped us a lot. We have so much that we have decided to hire her on the weekends. Um, it's been a really, really great experience having her because um, I think it, it gives her something, she feels like involved into something that she's really, really interested in. So it's been a great um, help to us. We try and develop a program that's mutually beneficial so that the students are able to contribute to the organization as well as benefit from the exposure that they receive by their internship. Um, we had six students in the actual technical field um, working with the, the tech team with computer services and they did all kinds of things from imaging computers to um, asset management to going to sites with, um, with the techs. Um, and then we had two students that helped us in the, in the administration team and they did all kinds of things from filing to photocopying to prep for orientation to um, assisting with all kinds of different events that we do in administration as well. SciFex Head of Careers Heather Cahill tells us her team learned a lot from the employers who were vocal in sharing all they thought about the program while coming up with solutions to make it better. They gave us um, certainly food for thoughts in terms of moving forward, how we can improve the program, which we welcome. They are our partners and without the employers, the, the program wouldn't exist. Certainly it shows that they're committed to young people of Cayman and we are looking forward to working with them again for a new year in September. 228 boys and girls, students of SciFec, took part in the annual work experience initiative this year. An employee of the Auditor General's office has won another competition tied to wellness within the civil service. Mr. Vincent Rosero won the top prize for his depiction of time-smoothened ironshore upon which sits a lone periwinkle, an often overlooked inhabitant. Rosero said the scene caught his eye when he was walking by the Dart Community Park along South Church Street around noon one day during the recent pedometer challenge. He said when he was walking, he noticed how much beauty was all around him. He then decided to capture the view. A panel from the Cayman Islands Department of Tourism judged the entries using the following criteria. Must reflect or capture an idea of wellness. Must be clear that the picture reflects nature, preferably of the Cayman Islands, and must be captivating to one's eye. And the quality, of course, must be fairly good. We say congratulations to Mr. Rosero. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Please don't, for, don't forget to tune into Radio K Man's talk shows. That's For the Record and Talk Today, weekdays and week mornings. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, wishing you a wonderful and, of course, a safe night. Thank you for joining me, as always. See you here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.